So you want to main Master Yi. Well, do you like speed? Do you like swordsmans? Do you like wuju? Do you like pentakills? And do you like pressing the right mouse button? Then Master Yi, the wuju bladesman, is for you. <laughs> So for a while, Yi trained in the art of Wuju-style swordsmanship, but the Noxus army realized that that shit was just too good, and had Singe do some crazy fucking chemical bombing on the whole dojo, so Yi was the only one left who knew the art of Wuju. Eventually he got really damn pissed, and started training for vengeance until Wukong came along and was all like, hey let's fight bruh. So they fought, and he started getting happier again and realized that he could never master Wuju if he was all hateful and shit. So that is the story of Master Yi. Also, he's kind of like a Jehovah's Witness in the sense that everywhere he goes, he tries to teach people the ways of the Wuju. In-game, Master Yi is that pentakill of a monster champion. You and I all know who Yi is and what Yi does. As an AD assassin, his ability damage and functionality is toned down and made so that his auto attacks make up the bulk of his kit, which is generally why it's fun to joke about how Master Yi is so easy to play. He is a highly mobile, emphasizing on speed and critical strike damage champion that can be adept at killing basically any champion he sets his nine eyes on, or nine goggle lenses, or whatever the fuck that thing is on his head. He is better at deleting squishy targets, but is definitely not a bad choice if you need to shred some tanks. This is of course comes with an offset of being squishy as fuck without any form of tanky items built. There are always three things to remember when playing Master Yi in the game. Number one, he is going to farm. A lot. And don't expect him to do shit early game. Two, the player is generally toxic, or mutes all of you for the fun of it. And three, he will gain at least three pentakills that game alone. So Master Yi's passive is double strike. After three attacks, his fourth attack will do a double strike. You attack twice, with the second attack doing 50% of your AD damage. It'll also activate all on hit effects and can critically strike. This is a really nice ability just all around, no honest downsides with this. It just helps jungle clear faster, adds extra damage during team fights, hell even CS better. The extra on hit effects also work very well at chunking down larger creatures or tanks. Also the more attack speed you have increases your dance speed which is kinda strange but I mean hey it's cool to know. Yi's Q is Alpha Strike. You blink around to the enemy you click on as well as three more enemies nearby. You become untargetable and deal physical damage to all targets and reappear at the target you first clicked on. It can also critically strike, doing 60% of its normal base damage as extra damage. This skill has a ton of functions, which is awesome. The Q helps clear jungle camps, it helps chase down enemies, helps push a wave, helps avoid damage. It really does just a lot of good functions. Plus, the cooldown is decreased by one second for every auto attack you do, allowing it to be up more often. And late game, it honestly feels like this ability is never really down. It's a great skill and can give a bit of distance between a good versus not so good Yi player. Master Yi's W is Meditate. You activate a channel for 4 seconds, healing you for 4 seconds by a flat amount, increased by 1% for every 1% of missing health you have. You also take significantly less damage from all sources during it, with half of the damage reduction being applied to towers. This is the skill that is probably the least underwhelming in Yi's kit. The heal is nice for maintaining jungle clears and if you're taking serious damage or burst in a teamfight, but besides that, there really isn't much to say about this ability. It has good uses, but you will easily be using the skill the least. Yi's E is Wuju style. It passively gives you 10% more bonus AD, and when activated you gain true damage based on flat amount plus percentage of your current AD. However, when it is on cooldown, that 10% passive is removed. This move does basically what your Q and passive do. Increase the speed of your jungle clear, add damage during team fights, and help burst down enemy champions. The true damage can get pretty insane, you can simply blow up enemy squishies with this. Same thing with tanks, when this ability is activated you have 5 seconds of butt clenching damage and you better use it because you lose it when it's on cooldown. The ability is all timing and if you time it right, oh boy is it strong. Finally, Master Yi's ultimate is Highlander. Passively, getting a champion kill or assist resets the cooldown on all other of Yi's abilities by 70%. When activated, the next 10 seconds turn you into a Sanix Wuju style face wrecker. You gain a pretty nice amount of movement speed and attack speed for those 10 seconds, and every champion kill and assist you gain also increases the ability time by another 4 seconds. Also, you can't be slowed. Now this is that pentakill ability. You pop this and the enemy knows unless they have some major disengage you're gonna go in hard. Sooner or later, you'll just be tearing through the enemy team with this, and it can be glorious. So the order you max Master Yi's skills go QEW. I've heard some people say max E over Q, but I've always found Q more effective all around. 
So max Q, since it is your main damage ability, and having it up as much as possible is always great. E next for the increased true damage, and W last because it's the skill you're rarely using. How do I play Master Yi? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Here, 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 here. Let me show you how you play Master Yi. Hear that? You hear that sound? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let me try to get this a little bit better. This is a very special limited edition vlog for the uh, Master Yi guide. So, just want to show you guys. See, see this? See, this is my hand, you know? Oh, it's, it's very white today. Holy shit. But, you know, I'm just showing you how you play Yi. You like that? You hear the clicking? I hear the clicking. Now I'm going to show you how my video game dog plays Yi. There you go, buddy. You got this. I believe in you. Pentakill. Good job. Okay, okay, okay. Jokes aside, Master Yi is not a very hard champion, but I don't necessarily think he is as easy as everyone says he is. Don't get me wrong, he is a simple champion, but he isn't as simple as he may seem. So in order to play Yi, you need to farm up jungle for a long time. The new Say Devourer is an obvious item choice on him, and you need to farm and farm and farm the first 20 minutes or so to try and get that thing sated ASAP. You will also most likely never gank until you are 6, but when you hit 6, oh boy, the Shrekening will commence. Once you are fully farmed and ready for some butt touching, you just pop holes and charge in the enemy with a serious lust in your eyes, and slice them up into tiny little bite-sized pieces. And you do that again, and again, and again, and again. Then you become fed as fuck and just demolish everybody in the game or split push an inhibitor in less than a minute. That's what playing Yi is like. Now, the difference between a mediocre Yi and a good Yi is not that evident in mechanics, but very evident in decision making. Playing Yi mechanically isn't hard. What matters is jungle clearing, counter ganks, and timing. A good Yi player will always have his jungle timers on point, so he will always have something to keep Devourer charging and always make sure he knows when Scuttle Crabs are ready for the taking. A good Yi will maintain Dragon Control and keep his eyes on where the enemy jungler is so that he can either match their gank or to solo take Dragon if they appear top lane. Finally, timing is what really distinguishes a Yi player. Most players will use Yi's Q as a source of damage or chase potential, but a good Yi will save it to negate a ton of damage or CC that is coming his way. Same thing with W. He will use his Meditate to negate a ton of burst from, say, a Singer or Vigar ultimate rather than just popping W when he is low. A good Yi knows how to back away when his E is down and maintain eyes on his cooldown so he can chain kills to give him that pentakill he gets every game. For the rest of you who aren't that great with Master Yi, just pop ult, kill somebody, then chain Q attacks and autos until the rest of the team is dead. Then you win the game. Woohoo. Wanna be Wuju Masters. Yi is kinda like Talon and the idea that he's a solo type champion who just does his own shit. Therefore, the best champions to go with Yi are those that can either lock down his targets or save him from any form of burst damage or CC. The usual dive champs and hard CC like, say, Malphite and Mumu are good, and others like Lulu and Morgana are awesome too, especially Morgana. Putting a black shield on an ulted Yi is fucking amazing. Also, Ash is a really good pick with him. I'm not quite sure why, besides the ultimate stun. She just seems like she has really good synergy. Jealous Noxians. So the ones who can counter Yi are the ones that can keep him CC forever, especially those with point and click or anybody who can negate his power. Jax and Teemo can completely shut down a Yi by removing his auto attack power while somebody like Ramus, Gnar, and Lissandra can really mess up a Yi player. This is why a decent Yi needs to weigh out these abilities or skirt around them with his meditate and alpha strike skills. The skins we have for Master Yi is Gravity Defying Goatee, Master Yi, Anakin Yi Walker, Cherry Blossom, Master Yi, the letter U for a helmet, Master Yi, really crazy serrated blade Yi, and awesome crazy robot depressing dialogue of awesomeness, Master Yi. Master Yi builds. The obvious choice for Yi is Say Devour, but the smite you choose is honestly up to you. Chilling Smite is great for chasing, but Skirmishers is extremely awesome for 1v1 matchups or burst. I prefer Skirmishers because I love damage, but that's just me. For boots, you'll want to take either Berserker Greaves or Merc Treads. You can also take Ninja Tabby if the enemy team is auto attack heavy and you just want to take less damage from monsters. For your main items, you have a lot of choices, so I'm just going to list them all off. Ravenous Hydra, Triforce, Black Cleaver, Yamuma's Ghost Blade, Blade of the Ruin King, Phantom Dancer, Static Shiv, Frozen Mallet, Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, Bloodthirster, and finally, Mercurial Scimitar. Oh, but wait, you want some tank stats? Well, 
Dead Man's Plate, Maul of Malmorthius, Banshee's Veil, Guardian's Angel, Randwin's Omen, Warmog's Armor, Spirit Visage, and you know what? Take a ward too. I'm sure your teammates will be happy with that. For Masteries, take 2190, obviously. Runes, you can go either full attack speed and defense, or a hybrid of attack speed and attack damage with defense. And summoner spells can vary. Smite, obviously, but Flash, Ghost, Teleport, and Ignite are all decent choices, to be honest. None really have much of a downside. It seems that Teleport is kind of the thing now, but I prefer Flash. How to fuck shit up. You have mid lane AD Master Yi of Fuckery, Berserker Greaves, Ravenous Hydra, Blade of the Ruin King, Bloodthirster, Triforce, and Spirit Message. With 2190 Masteries and full AD and attack speed runes. Yes! Oh. Yes! I'm a lot. Oh shit. Rengi. <laughs> Oh, he's not six. Okay, I'm okay. You but yes, I'm alive. Perfectly. You took the one tower shot and then meditated right out of the tower range as the minions walked in. Oh, I feel good. I feel. I feel good. And then you have top lane AD tank master Yi of fuckery, ninja tabby or merc dreads, titanic hydra, black cleaver, frozen mallet, zephyr, and spirit visage, along with a good choice of tank and AD runes and nine twenty one zero masteries. The game that I decide to make a top lane Yi guide. I fight another Master Yi top lane. And with not even having the skin. Not even with the skin. Like, if anything, I would expect some form of project skin. I mean, I don't have project skin because I don't play Yi, but... So maybe like, I wanted to stop Master I mean, Yi, but very good. I play Yi. I don't care that you play <laughs> Yi. You're a horrible human being. Yeah, I was just... I like, you know... I'm out of here, nerds! I'm gone! Oh, God. Get Yi'd. You're gonna die, yeah. now, so. No, I'm not. I, like, I'm fine. It's gonna trade. It's gonna be a trading game. Nope. So please uh, let the, let there be a point in your video where it goes. <laughs> you, you need a point in the video where I play the little ye meme. Yeah. Should it be after every every kill? I just gotta have yeah. Master Yi go there and be like ye. For when you really wanna make your team Q dodge. Well, everybody, now you know what it takes to be a Master Yi main. I trust you can go out and ruin the lives of your enemies one Wuju Pentakill at a time. If this guide helped you get to Challenger, please like and subscribe, and do all that usual YouTube stuff I like to say, and leave a comment on which champion you'd like to see next. Until next game, this has been Bricky Orchidate, asking that you don't fuck up my solo queue. Bye bye Yeah.